Hello everyone, it's Dr. Joji Huffman Jr. from Arkham Asylum and welcome back to my Arkham Patient File series. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at, at a particularly unique patient of ours, Arnold Wesker, aka the Ventriloquist. Now, the patient's in very good health despite his age and we don't know if his puppet Scarface controls him or he controls Scarface. But one thing's for sure, without Scarface, he's not very violent. Except for that time in that bar fight, but I'll get to that that in a minute. Anyway, so Arnold Wesker was born to, to a pair, pair to 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 a mafia boss and his wife in Gotham City. And yeah, one day Alcatraz landed in Gotham, and he took young Ernie to see the art, art, the them. Arnold was upset by his parents, and they insisted that they leave. But as they were leaving. His parents were ran over and killed by 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 some truck containing department store ventriloquist puppets. Not knowing that puppets would become a later influence in his life, Arnold became an orphan and lived in an orphanage until he was twelve. However, one time in a barroom brawl, his deep suppressed anger arises as he murdered that uh, one of the men of that fight fight, and and he was sentenced to Blackgate. There, he met his cellmate, a lifer named Donegan, and his puppet, Woody, carved from the Blackgate Gallows, which had hung over a hundred people before it was destroyed in a lightning storm, thus halting the death penalty until they could find another one. And, and that night, Woody spoke to Wesker, telling him to, to get him away from Donegan and go to Gotham. And, and as instructed by the puppet, Wesker killed Don again, and they escaped, making their way to Gotham. And and the puppet called himself Scarface because of the scar on his face. When, and yet, although Wesker has reformed several times and left here at er Arkham, he has, however, become a crime boss following the family's roots in the Mafia here in Gotham. Of his puppet Scarface. Though we here at Arkham, including Warren Sharp and, and Director Arkham, haven't decided if, if Wesker controls Scarface or West or Wesker's controlled by Scarface. We may never know, but one thing's for sure. If Scarface isn't there, Wesker's okay. And um anyway, so that was episode two of Arkham Asylum Patient Files. Sorry if it was a little bit short, but what are you going to do? Next episode, we're going to be taking a look at Harvey Dent, also known as Two-Face. So stay tuned for that. And remember, as always, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.